obviously we let Antonio go today um, just to clear you up on some things that happened. At no point in time during that game did he ever ask the trainer or doctor about his ankle. He never went through. That's the normal protocol. You go through protocols during games. I was never notified of it. So obviously that was a, the disturbing thing when we were looking for him to go back into the game. All right, we always had, uh, he was very upset at halftime about who was getting targeted. Got that calmed down. Players took care of that. It started again on the sideline. We called for the personnel group that he had played in the entire game. He refused to go in the game. That's when I looked back and saw him basically wave off the coach. Um, I then went back, approached him about what was going on. Uh, I ain't playing. To what's going on? I ain't getting the ball. That's when I said, "You're done. Get the f out of here." And that's the that's the that's the end of it. And uh, we are work we are working on Carolina. That's the end of the story. And um, hopefully, it ends today. All right, so the plot thickens. Antonio Brown has officially been released. Uh, Bruce Arians just gave his thoughts. Um, I don't believe Bruce Arians. I, <laughs> what I realized a long time ago is that people are going to tell their version of the truth, but not exactly <laughs> what really happened. Um, you're dealing with male egos. You're dealing with Antonio Brown and an old school coach like Bruce Arians. I'm inclined to believe that it's somewhere in the middle. That maybe Antonio Brown ankle was hurt. Maybe he wasn't getting the targets that he would hope. And, and because of it felt like there's no reason for him to be out there hobbling on one leg when he's not even getting the ball. Bruce Arians probably knew Antonio was hurt and knew that Antonio was upset with his targets. And I'm inclined to believe that the three week suspension because of the, um, the fake uh, vaccination card played a major role in this. He's probably over at Antonio and just looked for any excuse to get him up out of there. Now, I, I didn't think that this situation would end in the manner that it did. But I do see Antonio being back in the league next year. Uh, apparently, his, his ankle is beyond beyond treatment for this year. But I do expect him to, to have an NFL jersey next year. Everyone's point of view on this stems from how they feel about Antonio Brown. But Bruce Arians told a completely different story the day of the game. He made it seem like the reason why Antonio Brown's being cut is because of his antics and him deciding on not going into the game. No, far, far from it. He was already cut, fired, whatever you want to call it, before he had done any of that. And, you know, I, I feel like that Bruce Arians is playing damage control. Antonio Brown is now playing damage control because he issued a statement. Uh, I feel like the more and more time that goes on, we're going to hear more and more stories. And eventually we'll get to the truth. But as of now, the Tampa Bay Bucks have moved on. Antonio Brown has moved on. And this is, is looking like a boy who cried wolf situation. Nobody's ever going to really fully believe Antonio Brown's side because it, this is a, in, in his pattern of behavior. But you let me know in the comments, who do you believe, Antonio Brown or Bruce Arians? YSM Sports Media, we out.